City Council members will meet tomorrow to present a new plan, which is designed to provide a safer route for pedestrians and bicyclists from West Ashley to the peninsula. News 2's Katie Van Vangsa heard from a local organization about why they believe this project is so important. A much anticipated traffic safety project in the city of Charleston is one step closer to becoming reality. Leaders are presenting the Ashley River Crossing project Tuesday afternoon. The new bridge's current design will be presented by Charleston Mayor William Cogswell to the City Council tomorrow. It is expected the crossing will flow from West Ashley to downtown Charleston, offering a separate route for walkers and bicyclists. I have met a lot of people who have stories about getting hurt on that bridge. Um, I talked to one young woman a few years ago who her bike tire got caught in a crack on that maintenance path and she fell into the lane of traffic on her bike. Katie Zimmerman with Charleston Moves, a group that aims to improve safety on roadways, believes it will reduce congestion, giving walkers, bicyclists, and drivers more space. I think you'll see a lot of different travel patterns for the better, and that's gonna benefit even folks who never choose to walk or bicycle to get around, even if they're just driving, while Zimmerman says she's glad to see a focus put on road safety, the current design directing pedestrians through floating docks and Brittle Bank Park is a big change from the previous rendering, which provided a safe passage through the medical district, something she hopes to see brought back. On the flip side of that, if the project, if we don't go back to a design for this project that has a direct connection to the medical district, I think, um, we're not going to see as much use of this new bridge, and that would be that would be a, a, a huge shame. The meeting is expected to take place at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. In Charleston, Katie Fongvonksa, Count on Two.